Hey guys, welcome to Protocoders Point. Okay, so in this photo tutorial, we're gonna learn how to pass a data from one screen to another screen. So let's begin. So here in my Android Studio, I have already created a new photo project by name Passing Data. Okay, and I have removed all the default code, the counter code, the given by photo team. And for now, it simply has a scaffold widget with a container. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a second page from main page we are going to pass the data to second page so let's create a second page and i will just name it as welcome page okay so here import material dot and we will just make use of a stateless widget okay and just remove the container and make use of scaffold and here in body tag we will just pass a container for now Okay, so what we are going to do is from our main.dart page, we are going to send the data uh, to welcome page. Okay, so let's uh, code the welcome page first. So here we're gonna pass three data that is of type string, name, email, and a phone number. Okay, so I will just remove this const constructor and create my own. Go to generate constructor and mark all three three datas and just create it and now these are the required properties so make it as required required and this is also required and take it into a bracket opening bracket so now i need to just print this data on my screen so for that i will just remove this container and in place of container i will just make use of column widget so that i can print more than uh, one widget okay in column widget we will just make use of children and here I will just use a text widget to print the data name okay so here I am making use of text widget to print the data email phone number okay now we are done with the welcome screen so now i need to go to main.dat file and from here i need to send the data to our welcome page okay so here we will just create a text field where a user can input his name email and phone number and a button and when the button is been pressed i need to send the text field data to welcome page okay so let's do it so same thing i will just create a, a column widget so I will just copy this and paste it over here. I will remove this one and here I will just make use of text field. Okay, so text field uh, we need to decorate. Decorate input decoration and we will just make use of a border and the border will be outline input border. Okay, and the label the label text is will work uh, same as the hint okay so let's create a uh, controller for this text field okay so i have created uh, three text field controller phone name email and phone number so let's attach it controller underscore name okay so like this we will just create uh, two more text field for email and phone number so before that i will just wrap this text field in a padding widget okay so now i will just copy this two times for email and one more for uh, phone number okay and just change this controller to email phone number enter phone number and now i just need a uh, button okay size box i am giving because i need gap between this text field and a button so let's create a elevation button so when the elevation button is been pressed i need to send navigate the user data to welcome page okay so now let's check the ui i'm just running the code okay so as you can see this is the ui so it has a text field name email and phone number and a button okay so let's bring this 
all widget at the center of our screen main axis alignment main axis alignment center okay so now it is in center okay so now when this button is been pressed i need to send all this three data to our welcome page so let's code it so here when the bu button is been pressed i need to code so for that we will make use of navigator navigator dot off context dot push okay and here material material page root builder and from here i need to go to a welcome page for that welcome page okay so as you can see this welcome page requires three data to be sent as we have created over here required properties so we need to pass this text field data in it so to pass the data we will make use of this controller okay controller underscore name dot text email dot text so let me take this two seconds down little bit down so that it will be easy for you to read okay so i will just refresh the app okay so i think the app got restarted so now i will just enter the data i need to pass okay i will just press on this welcome go to welcome page so you can see the data is visible on our second screen so let make it at the center of our screen main axis alignment main axis alignment center and just wrap this column widget at the center of our screen so now if i refresh go to welcome page so you can see the data is been visible on our second screen that is been entered in first screen so that's all for this video tutorial hope you got the concept of how to pass a data from one screen to another screen uh, thanks for watching please do subscribe protocol as point thank you